the universe is an enigma and one that might take forever to understand. Yet scientists are caught in a bind trying to make sense of the cosmic microwave background and what secrets it holds. Unexplainable fluctuations are occurring in real time, the discovery of which challenges our existing knowledge about the universe. Now scientists hope that their discovery is a mistake. So what did they discover? Join us as we break down the confusing and ever-changing theories hounding our universe. Understanding the Cosmic Microwave Background An abnormal faint electromagnetic glow was observed across the entire sky in the 1960s. Physicists later discovered that light originated in the very early universe when the first atoms were produced just after the Big Bang. This relic radiation is now known as the Cosmic Microwave Background or CMB. It is one of the most important areas of study in cosmology. Imagine that after the Big Bang, the universe was a scorching, hot and dense place filled with a primordial soup of particles. As the universe expanded and cooled down about 380,000 years later, it reached a point where atoms could finally form. This was a defining moment in time, as the universe became transparent and light could finally travel freely. Well, that light set free the cosmic microwave background. Now, over time, it stretched and cooled down along with the expansion of the universe. Its current temperature is about 2.73 degrees above absolute zero. Today, this ancient light fills the entire universe and permeates every corner. It's like an echo or a shockwave from the initial Big Bang explosion. Naturally, studying it would open a portal of answers to the beginning of our questions. Scientists study the CMB because they're searching for clues about what was. By analyzing its properties, they can uncover information about the composition, age and structure of the cosmos. Within it is strong evidence for the Big Bang Theory, which revolutionized our understanding of the universe's origins. It's a constant reminder of the vastness and age of our cosmos, inviting us to explore its mysteries and unravel the secrets of our cosmic past. So far, our understanding is that the CMB radiation is incredibly uniform in all directions, with only tiny temperature variations. These fluctuations reveal the seeds from which galaxies, stars and other cosmic structures eventually formed over billions of years. So what is the significance of these temperature changes within our cosmos? Strange Anomalies in the Universe Before we jump into the oddities of the cosmic microwave background, let's explain an important theory about our universe. In the context of the universe, Isotropy refers to a property of uniformity or sameness in all directions. An isotropic universe would exhibit the same characteristics, such as temperature or density, regardless of the direction in which it is observed. To put it simply, imagine standing in the middle of a perfectly spherical room, where the walls are uniformly lit and have the same color and brightness. No matter which direction you look, you would see the same pattern and intensity of light. This would be an example of an isotropic environment. In the case of the universe, isotropy means that no matter where we look in the sky, we would expect to observe similar properties and characteristics. The cosmic microwave background radiation, which is a remnant of the early universe, is expected to exhibit isotropy. This means that the CMB should have a uniform temperature distribution with no preferential hot or cold spots in any particular direction. Now scientists use a method called multipole expansion to analyze the temperature variations in the CMB, breaking them down into different scales. It begins with a monopole, representing the average temperature across the entire sky. The dipole, quadrupole, octopole, and so on are next introduced, with each scale representing smaller regions of the sky. These distinct scales should ideally have random orientations in an isotropic cosmos. The dipole may have a hotspot in one direction, while the octopole may have a hotspot in another, with no link between them. But the European Space Agency's Planck mission discovered something surprising. The quadrupole and octopole, representing specific scales, were found to be unusually close to each other in terms of direction. The alignment between them was not expected and couldn't be easily dismissed as a random occurrence. Additionally, scientists observed a slight temperature difference in the CMB, depending on which region of the sky was viewed relative to our solar system. The top half appeared slightly cooler compared to the opposite side, which appeared slightly warmer. Although the temperature difference is small, it is detectable and aligns with the previous alignment of the quadrupole and octopole. Naturally, these findings have puzzled the brightest minds in the universe. Even when they morph and adjust measurements about the known universe, this anomaly continues to exist. Why does a cosmos that existed millions of years ago and our known universe align make no logical sense? Is it just a coincidence? A chance alignment that our pattern-loving minds have conditioned us to seek? 
Or does it entice us with the promise of new and revolutionary physics? Or did we merely make a mistake with the measurements? Scientists have been on a quest to figure out what's causing this puzzling alignment. They've searched high and low for explanations like dust clouds or other cosmic phenomena, but nothing seems to fit the bill. Now here's where things get interesting. Could it be pure chaos, a random alignment that seems significant because we humans love finding patterns? Or does it hint at mind-blowing physics that we're still struggling to grasp? Heck, maybe we goofed up the measurements somehow. At this point, it's tough to say for sure. There's still a lot more data to gather, and we don't want to jump to conclusions. We'll just have to wait and see. Eventually, the universe will point us in the right direction and we'll uncover the truth behind this cosmic puzzle. At this stage, it is difficult to draw definitive conclusions. The amount of data available is limited, and it's easy to become excited by these unusual findings. Further research and observations are necessary to shed more light on the situation. Over time, as we gather more data and refine our understanding, the universe itself may provide clues that lead us in the right direction to unravel this enigma. Axis of Evil by now, we know that the alignment of the quadrupole and octupole in the cosmic microwave background with our solar system is quite intriguing. To add a touch of humor to the mix, researcher Kate Land and Zhao Miguelio playfully dubbed this mind-bending alignment of the axis of evil. Inspired by a famous line from good old George W. Bush, they used data from the Wilkinson microwave anisotropy probe and later confirmed their findings with the Planck mission. So we know for sure that the axis of evil is a real thing. The real challenge now is figuring out what it means. This is a cosmic puzzle at its finest. Now here's where things get even more intriguing. Scientists have to grapple with this concept called cosmic variance. It's like a wild card in the cosmic deck. You see, our observable universe is just a small chunk of the whole cosmic pie. And due to sheer chance, some regions have bigger or smaller temperature fluctuations than others. This means that the alignment we're seeing could just be a cosmic illusion caused by our limited perspective. Cosmic variance also predicts the expected size of these random fluctuations. And guess what? The observed fluctuations are larger than anticipated. They're not off the charts massive, but they're significant enough to make scientists raise their eyebrows and ponder if there's something more going on here. So what's the deal? Well, one possibility is that these fluctuations are influenced by something closer to home. Imagine objects getting in the way, messing with the radiation before it reaches our detectors. Some researchers have noticed a funky coincidence. The axis of evil seems to somewhat align with the ecliptic in our solar system. That's the plane where all the planets and other celestial bodies strut their stuff. But here's the kicker. Figuring out what could be causing this alignment is like trying to solve a cosmic riddle. What kind of sneaky absorber could mimic the expected power spectrum so well? It's like searching for a hidden culprit in a cosmic crime scene. To sum it up, the axis of evil is a head-scratcher of cosmic proportions. If it turns out to be real, it would shake up fundamental physics and make us rethink our understanding of the universe's origin. But hey, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. There's still some detective work to be done, and scientists are eagerly unraveling the cosmic enigma that is the axis of evil. So grab your space popcorn and get ready for the next chapter in this mind-blowing cosmic tale. A multitude of proposed theories Let's explore a couple of modest proposals that attempt to explain the puzzling axis of evil phenomenon. Mark Kamionikowski, a prominent researcher in this field, has been tackling the issue from different angles. He emphasizes the need to consider the anomaly within a broader context and look for physical models that not only explain the axis of evil, but also make additional testable predictions. The more predictions a theory can make, the better we can evaluate its validity using existing or future data. One proposal focuses on tweaking the process of inflation, which is believed to have caused the rapid expansion of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Kamion Kowalski and his colleagues, Dong Hui Xiong, Jens Klubber, and Liang Dai suggest that our understanding of it is flawed and that the universe is more lopsided and uneven than we believe. This model doesn't require significant changes to our understanding of physics, but could leave measurable effects on the cosmic microwave background and the distribution of galaxies. Another intriguing model put forward by Andrew Little and Marina Cortez considers the possibility of a slightly open universe. In this scenario, parallel light rays gradually diverge over time, deviating from the generally observed flatness of the universe. 
While numerous observations support the notion of a nearly flat universe, there's room for a small deviation from flatness within theoretical boundaries and experimental error margins. Just like the previous proposal, a subtle alteration in the behavior of inflation could account for this effect. Inflation remains a popular focus for exploring the axis of evil due to the lack of simpler data on its exact mechanisms. It's an overarching concept rather than a specific theory, allowing for different interpretations of how a nearly flat universe is achieved. While the WMAP and Planck missions have ruled out some elaborate inflation theories, several viable options that fit the available data remain under consideration. Kamion Kowalski also suggests that variations in large-scale fluctuations could arise from multiple types of quantum fluctuations in the early universe. If different types have distinct effects, they could lead to slight variations in the observed large-scale structure depending on the direction astronomers look. However, he acknowledges that this idea is still in its preliminary stages and requires further development and verification. Though researchers like Kamenowski and others are actively exploring these proposals, it's important to note that no definitive solution has emerged yet. Catherine Yoho, another scientist engaged in studying the axis of evil, appreciates the imaginative nature of the proposed ideas but remains cautious. While some models may seem promising, she hasn't seen anything that truly convinces her. Yoho mentions a specific model that radically alters our understanding of space-time geometry, but admits that it doesn't align with other cosmological data. She emphasizes the need for continued investigation and scrutiny before drawing any firm conclusions. It seems like they're taking her words to heart because a massive project is underway that will rip apart the fabric of the universe and decipher it. Ongoing projects to understand the universe Never to back down from a challenge, we now have scientists making leaps to understand the universe. There are shockingly ambitious projects on the horizon to decode the universe's secrets. The project is Cosmic Microwave Background Stage 4. It's like a next-level cosmic treasure hunt. We're setting up telescopes in two locations, the Chilean Atacama Desert and the South Pole. The plan is to study the cosmic inflation. Here's the deal. Cosmic inflation is this mind-blowing concept where the universe rapidly expanded in an incredibly short period. If we can find solid evidence of cosmic inflation, it would be a game-changer. One of the main reasons scientists are so keen on studying cosmic inflation is that it can help us reconcile two major physics theories general relativity and quantum mechanics. These two theories are like rock stars in the scientific world, but they don't quite match up in certain aspects. Cosmic inflation could provide crucial hints and clues to help bridge the gap between these theories and bring us closer to a more complete understanding of how the universe works. Cosmic inflation also has the potential to explain other mind-boggling mysteries. Do you know how certain regions of the universe shouldn't have any influence on each other but they strangely appear similar? Well, cosmic inflation could explain that cosmic coincidence. On top of all that, cosmic inflation is linked to the presence of gravitational waves, ripples in space-time. Detecting these primordial gravitational waves would be an absolute game-changer for our knowledge of the universe. It would give us direct evidence of cosmic inflation and provide insights into the early moments of the universe's existence. CMBS4 is like a giant playground for scientists. We're not just stopping at cosmic inflation, we're also hoping to discover new subatomic particles, understand the mind-boggling properties of dark matter and dark energy, map out the entire cosmos, and capture mind-blowing cosmic events happening in the microwave sky. Who knows what kind of jaw-dropping surprises await us out there? More so, this technology will be fitted with incredible detectors called superconducting bolometers. They're super sensitive and can pick up even the tiniest changes. It's like giving our cosmic senses a massive upgrade. Of course, a project of such magnitude will require a lot of manpower. We've got the support of three major studies backing us up, and we're working on making CMBS4 a collaboration between the National Science Foundation and the US Department of Energy. So when can we expect some mind-blowing discoveries? Well, the construction of this mammoth project will begin in early 2030, given that limitations can be expected thanks to the remoteness and coldness at the South Pole. The team of scientists is praying for things to go smoothly. Get ready for an adventure like no other. CMBS4 is here to blow our minds and revolutionize our understanding of the universe. And that's all we have on this mind-bending concept of the cosmic microwave background and our desperate attempts at understanding it. We hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more thought-provoking content like this.